parish. As long as education has been a part of the mission of Holy Cross, so too has parish ministry. The Congregation of Holy Cross was born when Father Moreau joined together Father Dujarier's Brothers of St. Joseph with his own auxiliary priests in 1837. Two years prior, Father Moreau had organized the auxiliary priests to travel around the Diocese of Le Mans and meet the needs of parish communities, particularly through preaching missions. Very early in the life of Holy Cross, the congregation's mission in parishes expanded to include sponsoring particular parishes. Today, in addition to all the other parish assistance provided, the United States province officially ministers 13 parishes in the United States. Sacred Heart Parish, Notre Dame, Indiana, 1842. Founded by Father Edward Soren in 1842, Sacred Heart Parish, located on the Notre Dame campus, is the oldest continuous Holy Cross parish in the United States. Father Soren established Sacred Heart Parish not only to serve the needs of his religious and the university's students, but also to minister to the Catholic communities of Lowell and South Bend, as well as to catechize the local indigenous population. Today, the parish, gathering in the crypt church beneath the basilica, has about 400 active households, most of whom have a connection with the university. Since 1999, the parish has rented the old Moreau Seminary from the province. Renovated and renamed the Sacred Heart Parish Center, this facility provides a chapel, classrooms for religious education, and social space for parish meetings and events, including a monthly gathering of seniors for mass and lunch, as well as a weekly support group for young mothers with preschool children. Direct service to the poor is a parish priority. The social justice ministry involves parishioners in many local organizations, serving those in need as the parish moves from the Eucharistic table to the larger community to help build God's kingdom of justice and peace. St. Joseph Church, South Bend's oldest Catholic parish, was founded by Father Edward Sorin in 1853. Since its inception, education has played a central role in its mission. Holy Cross Sisters once taught as many as 700 children in the school building, dedicated in 1926, and which continues to house the school today. The current church, built on the site of the 1880s Gothic-style church before it, was dedicated in 1966 and was the first church in the diocese built to conform to the liturgical changes brought about by the Second Vatican Council. Having earlier served European settlers who came to the region in the 1840s and 50s, St. Joseph Parish later welcomed immigrants from Italy, East Asia, and Africa. In the past decade, the parish has experienced significant growth and an expansion of its mission. School enrollment stands at 445, the highest since the 1950s. The 900 families that make up the parish continue to make St. Joe a vibrant worshiping community known for its outreach to neighbors in need. The spirit of worship, service, and education that has characterized St. Joe from the beginning is alive and well in the heart of South Bend. St. Adalbert and St. Casimir Parishes, South Bend, Indiana, 1899. St. Adalbert and St. Casimir Parishes were two of the four parishes on the west side of South Bend, established by and for Polish immigrants. St. Casimir was founded in 1899 by Holy Cross priests. St. Adalbert, founded in 1910, remained a diocesan parish until 2003 when Holy Cross accepted responsibility for the parish and school. Both parishes maintain many of the Polish traditions of their founders, even as the Polish population in the surrounding neighborhoods ages and diminishes. The new immigrants, who now represent a majority of St. Casimir parishioners and the vast majority at St. Adalbert, are primarily young Hispanic families. The closing of St. Stephen Parish in 2002 sent waves of Latinos to nearby St. Adalbert and St. Casimir, rescuing both parishes from extinction, but fundamentally changing their identity. 
Although united by their deep devotion to the Blessed Mother and to the Eucharist, the Polish and Hispanic parishioners of St. Adalbert and St. Casimir are learning to appreciate each other's customs and cultures. In the summer of 2011, St. Adalbert School celebrated a hundred years of educating immigrant children. Although the language and ethnicity have changed, the mission continues. Holy Cross in St. Stanislaus Parishes, South Bend, Indiana, 1899. Also located on the historic west side of South Bend, Holy Cross and St. Stanislaus share a combined history that spans nearly 200 years. Originally founded by Holy Cross in 1899, St. Stanislaus was the spiritual home for many Polish immigrants who flocked to Indiana in search of the American dream. The school educated the immigrant children, and the parish preserved the language and culture of Poland. Nearby Holy Cross Church, begun in 1929, was also founded by the congregation. In 1949, a new church would be constructed to accommodate a thousand people, and enrollment at Holy Cross School would reach 1,200 students. Legendary pastors like Fathers Casey Graybars and Bill Neidhart shepherded their flocks through the changes of Vatican II, while faithful sisters and brothers like Sister Aloysius Marie and Brother Tom Tucker worked to instill the Holy Cross charism. Since 2001, both churches have shared one pastor, one office, and one weekly bulletin. This shared approach emphasizes greater collaboration and unity that underlie all aspects of social, ministerial, and prayer life of the community. In the words of the pastor, Holy Cross and St. Stanislaus Parish, two great churches, one awesome parish. Christ the King Parish, South Bend, Indiana, 1933. Founded in South Bend in 1933, Christ the King Parish was entrusted to the congregation with Father Peter Minor appointed the first pastor. This began the long, unbroken tradition of Holy Cross religious serving at Christ the King. As the parish grew, there was an increasing demand in the diocese for Catholic education in the northern part of South Bend. A brand new school building was opened in 1955, and ever since then it has been served by a dedicated group of Holy Cross sisters and lay women and men. The present church structure was dedicated in 1961, with Father Clement Funk as pastor. Today, Christ the King remains a vibrant and growing community with over 1,200 registered families and more than 465 students in the parish school. The vitality of the parish can also be seen in its thriving religious education program, the diversity of parish ministries, and the enthusiastic involvement of parishioners in all facets of parish life. Christ the King has been blessed in many ways, and it is the hope of the parish to continue making God known, loved, and served. St. Ignatius Martyr Parish, Austin, Texas, 1937. St. Ignatius Martyr Parish in Austin, Texas was founded in 1937 in order to meet the needs of the growing Catholic population in South Central Austin. Located just a few blocks from St. Edward's University, the parish serves a large and diverse population, including a rapidly growing Spanish-speaking congregation, as well as the deaf community in the area. The school is thriving and at full capacity. The parish is well known throughout the diocese as having lively liturgies, good preaching, many ministries, and an established social justice component, through which parishioners reach out in many ways to the poor and afflicted. While the State Congress is in session, many legislators call St. Ignatius Martyr their church away from home. Once one of many Holy Cross parishes, St. Ignatius remains the sole Holy Cross parish in the diocese. The parish is also home to many Holy Cross sisters, brothers, and priests in the area. It is truly an alive and active community, thanks to the care and dedication of so many good priests, brothers, and sisters over the last 75 years. Sacred Heart St. Francis de Sales Parish, Bennington, Vermont, 1958. 
Bennington, Vermont is located in the southwest corner of the state with a population of 16,000, making it the sixth largest city in Vermont. Originally, there were two Catholic churches in town. The Irish parish, St. Francis de Sales, opened in 1854. The French parish, Sacred Heart, opened in 1880. Holy Cross came to the area in 1955 with the purchase of the novitiate, and in 1958 assumed the pastorate of Sacred Heart Parish, as well as the Catholic High School, which eventually closed in 1967. The novitiate then moved to another location in Bennington before moving out of the state. In 1993, both Bennington parishes were staffed by Holy Cross, and they worked on merging the two into one parish in 1994. The new parish was renamed Sacred Heart St. Francis de Sales and includes a small mission 10 miles away that has mass once a week. The parish has an elementary school and about a thousand families. It is an active and dynamic faith community with a large number of volunteers who give an abundant life to the parish. Holy Cross Parish, Southeastern Massachusetts, 1966. In response to the growing Catholic population in Easton, Massachusetts, the Diocese of Fall River established Holy Cross Parish in 1966, entrusting it to the congregation. The following year, the church building, designed in the form of a cross, was dedicated with a spacious basement church hall. Ten years ago, a parish center was built with ample space for parish activities of every sort. Holy Cross is a vibrant and active parish of close to 1,300 registered households with a reputation for uplifting liturgy, ministerial outreach, and a strong sense of community. The many programs, ministries, and activities of the parish are coordinated by several active commissions, worship and spirituality, social action, church family life, finance, and health ministry. Four years ago, the parish adopted an intergenerational faith formation program, which has attracted many new families. The parish is also twinned with Lord of Hope Parish in Canto Grande, Lima. The pastoral council has been active in guiding a parish pastoral plan based upon the parish mission statement, summarized in its closing mandate to make God known, loved, and served. St. John Vianney Parish, Goodyear, Arizona, 1981. St. John Vianney Parish in Goodyear, Arizona was founded in 1956 to meet the needs of the agricultural West Valley of Phoenix. Holy Cross assumed responsibility of St. John Vianney in 1981 with Father Tom Zercher serving as the first pastor. In 1990, the current church was built. And then in 1992, under the leadership of Father Joe Corpora, a grade school was established. It was the first new school in the Diocese of Phoenix in 30 years, and it became the catalyst for the foundation of other new schools. In 1995, Salesian sisters came from Texas to serve in the school and parish, and they remain great collaborators with the Holy Cross community as St. John Vianney continues to grow and grow quickly. Over the last nine years, Sunday Mass attendance has exploded from 1,800 to almost 4,500. The parish brings together an ever more dynamic mix of English and Spanish speakers, of longtime Americans and recent immigrants, of wealthy retirees and struggling young families into one single parish family. In the midst of an often divided state and country, St. John Vianney stands as a beacon of the union possible in Christ. Sacred Heart Parish, Tri-Community, Colorado Springs, Colorado, 1984. Sacred Heart Parish was originally known as St. Mary's when it was founded in the 1880s. In 1984, Holy Cross assumed pastoral care of the parish, as well as the parishes in Manitou Springs and Cascade, from the Oblates of Mary Immaculate. Our Lady of Perpetual Help in Manitou Springs had been founded in 1860, making it the oldest parish in the diocese. Holy Rosary in Cascade had previously been the personal chapel of the Kuzak family. It is the same family who gave what is now the novitiate to the congregation in the late 1970s. Father Leroy Clementich was appointed the first Holy Cross pastor. 
Under the leadership of Father James Brackey, Sacred Heart began to work more closely with the churches in Manitou Springs and Cascade, referring to themselves as the Tri-Community, three communities, one parish. A hallmark of the parish is found in the youth programs, both children's faith formation and youth ministry. The parish also provides a haven and extended community to the Holy Cross novices at Mary Green Pines. Located in an evangelical town, the Tri-Community provides a Catholic light in Colorado Springs. St. Andre Bassett Church, Portland, Oregon, 2001. St. Andre Bassett Church, also known as the Downtown Chapel, is located in the heart of Old Town Portland. The parish's mission is to provide welcome, hope, and healing to the most marginalized members of society. Through prayer, service, education, and advocacy, the parish has become a vital resource to its neighborhood and the greater Portland community. The Downtown Chapel, which brings people together from all walks of life and parts of the city, is an open and welcoming community whether one is coming to worship, learn, volunteer, or receive services. It is in this diversity that parishioners experience and acknowledge the presence of and the need for God, both communally and personally. Dedicated to serving its neighbors experiencing poverty and homelessness, the parish's programs are dynamic expressions of faith and action. The community programs include a hospitality center, food pantry, and Brother Andre Cafe. St. Andre Bassett Church is always looking to advocate both for its guests and systemic changes that address underlying poverty issues. St. John the Evangelist Parish, Vieira, Florida, 2001. St. John the Evangelist Parish in Vieira, Florida was founded in 2001 both to meet the needs of Catholics from two overflowing nearby parishes and to provide a Catholic church in the new town of Vieira. At the request of the Orlando Diocese, Holy Cross priest Father Lawrence Olszewski served as the founding pastor. Initially, parishioners gathered on weekends in the Brevard County Commissioner's Chambers. A parish center was planned, and the groundbreaking took place in December 2005. The center was completed on March 7, 2007. The parish, well known for its broad-based social action ministry, continues to grow with 2,100 households registered. The population, which was comprised primarily of older adults, has become a dynamic mix of retirees and young families. It is anticipated that as Vieira grows, St. John's will grow to at least 3,000 households. With the entire parish center paid off, plans are progressing for a church that will seat 1,500. A fundraising campaign has begun with this goal in mind so that as the parish continues to grow and diversify, it can continue to spread the gospel. Holy Redeemer Parish, Portland, Oregon, 2002. Holy Redeemer Parish in Portland, Oregon was founded in 1906 by the Redemptorist community which was charged to proclaim God's message of plentiful redemption. They did this for over 94 years by developing a rich parish community. In 2000, the Redemptorists withdrew, giving responsibility for the parish and school to the Archdiocese. The Archdiocese appointed a parish administrator in hopes that Holy Cross, which was looking for a parish near the University of Portland, would assume responsibility. On August 11, 2002, Archbishop John Vlasny installed Father Joe Corpora as pastor. The parish school was reinvigorated with the arrival of Holy Cross. Quickly was seen the return of school uniforms, as well as a greater sense of Catholic identity. The school built an additional building for extra classrooms, and in keeping with its Portland identity, the new Pope John Paul II Hall was the first green, environmentally friendly, Catholic school building in the United States. In another sign of hope, Holy Redeemer ministers to the large and growing Hispanic population in North Portland with a weekly Spanish Mass and extensive ministry in Spanish. <laughs>